the use of temporary work visas and related immigration policies that import foreign workers has attracted significant controversy and policy debates in the U.S. On the one hand, many argue that foreign workers may substitute the domestic counterparts by intensifying labor market competition, leading to a decreasing wage or even crowding out of domestic workers. For example, President Trump signed an executive order on June 22, suspending most work visas for foreign workers through the end of 2020. Such work visas include the H-1B visa, through which high-skilled non-immigrant workers, particularly technology workers, work and stay in the U.S. On the other hand, studies suggest that foreign workers may complement domestic workers by facilitating local innovation and entrepreneurial activities and expanding local employment. For example, immigrants start companies at twice the rate of Native Americans. And almost half of the Fortune 500 companies were founded by immigrants or children of immigrants. Our study examines how one of these immigration policies, an extension in the Optional Practical Training Program, or the OPT program for foreign students in STEM majors, which includes science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, affects local labor markets. OPT is a temporary employment program that allows foreign students with F1 student visas to work in the U.S. after completing their academic studies so that they can get practical training related to their field of study. Before 2008, Eligible foreign students could apply for up to 12 months of OPT employment authorization. In 2008, this temporary employment period was extended to 29 months for foreign students in STEM-related majors and was further extended to 36 months in 2016. The STEM OPT extension policy, which provides flexibility for foreign students to work in the U.S. and thus increase the supply of foreign high-skilled workers, is likely to significantly influence local labor markets. Hence, we aim to assess the effect of the STEM OPT extension policy on the employment of domestic workers in STEM occupations and how the effects may differ between IT and non-IT STEM occupations. Our analysis reveals several interesting findings. First, our results suggest that an increase in the supply of foreign professionals as a result of the STEM OPT extension increases the number of domestic workers in STEM fields. This suggests that foreign high-skilled workers in STEM complement domestic workers in the local labor markets instead of substituting them. Second, we find that the positive effect of STEM OPT extension on the number of domestic workers is stronger for IT occupations than for non-IT STEM occupations. In addition, the policy change significantly increased the average wage of domestic workers in IT occupations, suggesting a complementary relationship between high-skilled foreign and domestic professionals in IT occupations. Further evidence suggests that foreign STEM workers, especially IT workers, bring entrepreneurship and their innovations, which boosts employment of domestic workers. From a policy perspective, the finding that the staying OPT extension has a complementary effect on domestic employment, especially for IT professionals, suggests that policymakers should design more effective immigration policies that attract high-skilled labor because such policies will promote innovation activities and economic growth. It's even more important considering that many developed nations fiercely compete with each other to attract foreign talent.